Hey everybody, so we've got to talk about the best team in the NHL right now, and that's the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, the Lightning throttled the Sharks last night 5-1. to one. Um, They're now 12-2-2 on the season. They lead the NHL with 26 points. They have a plus 21 goal differential already. Um, they have just... They're off to a ridiculous start, and I don't see them slowing down anytime soon. Um, this team is a legitimate President's Trophy candidate. This team is a going to make a deep playoff run, and this team is a serious threat to win the Stanley Cup. This is a very, very good hockey team, and... Barring any major injuries like we saw last year, this team is not going to be... They're going to just rip through the league this year. Um, obviously, they're, they're not going to win every game. It's the NHL, but, I mean, we're, we're talking, you know, 54, 55 win potential here. Um they're 12 2 and 2 right now. Uh, they they're just playing out of their minds offensively especially. I mean, they're playing well in all areas, but their offense is just off the charts. It's unbelievable the points that this team is putting up. Um, they have eight players with double digit point totals so far through 16 games, and s some of their players are re like just blowing point total like, totals out of the water. Um, they're being led by, obviously, Steven Stamkos and Nikita Kucherov, and those two have been just unreal, off the charts, just ridiculous seasons. Stamkos has 28 points already in 16 games. He, he could, if he keeps playing at this rate, which that remains to be seen if he can keep putting points up like this, but he, he could easily get to 120 points this season. Kucherov has 15 goals in 16 games. He has a chance to do 50 and 50, which hasn't been done in a long, long time. Um, you you just don't see you you don't see offense like this anymore in the NHL, and these guys are bringing it back. Um, Kucherov has another add 11 to the assist to those 15 goals, so he's got 26 points in 16 games. He should easily reach 100 points this year. I mean, this is just unbelievable offense. The the uh, left wing on that line, uh, Vlad Nemestikov, he's got 17 points in 16 games. Braden Point has 17 points in 16 games. I mean, these guys are just scoring off the charts, and it's not just one guy that's putting up ridiculous numbers. It's it's like they have like three, four, five guys putting up absurdly high scoring totals and I don't see it stopping anytime soon there's no reason to think it would stop I mean they went into they went into San Jose last night and just throttled the Sharks and San Jose had been playing good hockey they got off to a rough start but then they had a stretch there where they were playing really good hockey they were 8 and 5 going into last night and Tampa Bay just wiped the floor with them. They, San Jose scored the first goal. They hung with them in the first period. And then after that, they just had no, no answer, had nothing for the Lightning. Um, and on top of all the goal scoring, they're getting great goaltending, and their defense is playing well, too. They only gave up one goal last night. They're, it's not like they're giving up, you know, three, four goals a game. No, they're scoring you know, four or five goals a game and only giving up, you know, two or three. Um, Andre Vasilevsky leads the NHL and wins with 12. He's 12-1-1. He has a 9.28 save percentage, and his goals against is 2.41, so he's giving up less than two and a half goals a game. Um, <laughs> you're not going to beat this team if you only score, you know, two or three goals a game because they're going to score at least four. So how do you win? Unless you go off and have a really good offensive night and win, you know, really sh get in a shootout and outscore them, I, I don't know how you beat this team. Because it's going to be incredibly difficult to hold them under three goals. Almost impossible. It's not going to happen on most nights. It, there'll be a few games where just things go cold, but 
on most nights, this team is going to score at least three goals. And then with a goaltender as good as Vasilevsky, I don't know how you beat this team. Um, they're really just off the charts right now. Um, I... I don't like to make Stanley Cup picks before the season or early in the season. I I don't even make a Stanley Cup pick until we until the beginning of the playoffs. I I make playoff picks, but not who's gonna not how teams will do in the playoffs because way too much can happen between now and the playoffs and now in the Stanley Cup. I mean that's months away. But this team should be a strong favorite to not only make a deep playoff run, but to even maybe win the cup. I think with things going the way they're going, it's going to be very uh, very unlikely that the Eastern Conference Finals is anything other than Pittsburgh versus Tampa Bay. I think that, that those two teams, I think, are just a, a cut above everyone else in the East, and I don't think it's really even close, especially with Tampa Bay. Pittsburgh can be beat in Tampa Bay. Obviously, they can be beaten, but I it's unlikely. I think they are blowing everyone else in the East out of the water right now, and we'll see if they can do it all season long, but just ridiculous start, absolutely on fire for them. Kucherov and Stamkos are unbelievable. Um, this is, they're, they're quick. I've always liked Tampa. I, I, I've been a fan of Tampa. I'm a big Steven Stamkos fan, and now over the past couple years, I've become a huge Kucherov fan too. So I've always liked Tampa. They've always been one of, you know, those other teams that I root for, but I really, really like this team. Like I'm, I am actively rooting for Tampa Bay this year. Obviously, not as much as the Bruins, but I am actively rooting for Tampa Bay. I want to see them do really well this year, and so far, they're doing it. So, that's just what I think. I think it's not even close. Tampa Bay's the best team in the league. Them in St. Louis, but I think Tampa's better. Um, that, that's what I think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, follow. Follow on social media. Links are in the description. Uh, spread the word. We want this channel to keep growing. Growth has been good so far, so let's keep it going. Thank you guys very much for watching, and talk to you guys soon.